Well, hello, you wonderful people, you. How's life going? Is it treating you okay? I sure do hope so. Welcome to my channel. My name is Erica, if you're new here. And if you're not new, well, thanks for coming back for another video. <laughs> I woke up this morning and for some reason thought today was Saturday. And then I realized it's actually Monday. And by the time I get this video up, it will probably be Tuesday. And depending on when you actually see this video, <laughs> which is hard to say when that would be, it, who knows what day it may be. <laughs> so, I seem to have lost myself in the Sea of Mermaid. Instead of island time starts here, it's mermaid time starts here. <laughs> and I'm drowning in the abyss. And not that it's a bad place to drown. I mean... I know the date. I was just a little confused on what day of the week it was. And now that I've brought it up, today is May 11th and the prompt for today is starfish. And before I get too far into this video, I want to give a shout out to Harriet at Mafanwania Studio and Tremors Art. They are two wonderful artists with their own YouTube channels here. And um, they are following along with the prompts that I'm using this year. So if you're interested in seeing what they're creating, I will have a link to both of their channels down in the description part of this video. That's probably one of my favorite things about being in one of these challenges where people are following along with prompts is, you know, when you think of a certain thing, you have your prompt word, you know, you put your imagination and your creativity to it. And it's always so much fun to see what other people do with the same prompt. So, yeah, I just love seeing what you guys are creating when you guys do the prompt. It's been so much fun. And if you're watching this video and you are participating in Mermaid this year, let me know down in the comments. I'd love to see what everyone else is creating, too. So, for today's prompt... I decided to go with a mermaid in a deep slumber with starfish surrounding her. <laughs> My original plan was to do a mermaid with starfish all over her body, but I decided after the first couple of days um, that some of my ideas were just not going to be feasible for this challenge. I mean, not if I want to keep up. So instead, I decided to do this piece and then I decided instead of having regular starfish surrounding her, I wanted to make them glow, which did not end up being a quick, easy design at all. <laughs> but I will say taking the extra time to make the starfish glow was really worth it. So yeah, in the end, it was really worth it to me. And Although I will say that this piece didn't turn out exactly how I wanted it to, I was still very happy with the piece all in all. Although I love the watercolor and I do feel like I'm getting a lot more comfortable with it. I'm still having some moments where I struggle. But don't get me wrong, it's a good struggle. I at least feel like the struggle is worth it. <laughs> whenever I have a piece that actually looks good at the end and just because it doesn't turn out the way I wanted it to or the way I envisioned it it doesn't mean I'm not happy with it it's just you know most of the time I'm not happy with that but this time I was happy even though it wasn't what I envisioned I still really liked the way it turned out so yeah when I think I think when Mermaid is over, I will definitely be redoing this piece on a larger scale and probably with some gold leaf instead of the metallic watercolor. Unfortunately, I won't be using any more gold leaf in this book for the rest of Mermaid. The gold leaf seems to not do so well when it's in a book because the pages decided to stick together. Now, for some reason, it didn't do that with the cover page, but I believe that's because the very first page of this book 
um, that it presses against that you know that first page presses against it's a lot smoother than the pages that I'm actually working on so the pages that I'm painting on are textured and I'm guessing that's the reason that the gold leaf stuck into that and not to the other page so tomorrow though tomorrow I do plan on using the masking fluid so fingers crossed on that one hopefully I don't fudge anything up <laughs> I did actually um, get on YouTube though to find a video on how to use the masking fluid and I came across a fine liner nerds channel and he had a very helpful video on this subject and then I checked out the rest of his videos he, he doesn't have a lot, but the few videos that he does have are super helpful. He had an awesome one on how to mix um, watercolors to get skin tone. And it was probably the best explained video I've seen so far. So if you're looking for a few good quality, helpful videos to, you know, watch on watercolor, and some of the things that you use with watercolor, I highly recommend taking a peek at his channel. He has quality, not quantity, <laughs> written all over his channel. Unlike, <laughs> unlike, I can't even talk anymore. Unlike mine. <laughs> of course, not that I think that the quality <laughs> of my videos are bad. I just don't think they're as helpful as they could be because <laughs> I definitely don't think I lack in quantity of videos on my channel I've got a few videos but um yeah I could definitely improve on the quality a little bit like I said not that I think it's bad quality I just don't think it's great quality <laughs> so you know it's always good to strive for something better right <laughs> and that's what I strive for one day to be you know, just as helpful as other people in my videos. <laughs> Which reminds me of something I was thinking about while I was meditating, because, you know, when I meditate, I seem to do a lot of thinking. And I was thinking about the fact that what I should probably at some point listen to all of my videos that I've put out, because I have recorded them all very late at night and I will say I'm tired <laughs> and in the morning I don't necessarily remember everything that I mentioned in my videos so who knows what I'm even talking about <laughs> I, I did catch like um, a little bit of one of them because my mom was listening to one of them or two of them and um, I, uh, I, I listened to my videos and I think what am I talking about? <laughs> what am I doing? Didn't I just say that? I'm pretty sure I repeated that already and again and again. So anyway, and another thing I was thinking about is when I do this next year, I will probably do all of the paintings in April. That way I can do the audio for all of the videos in May instead of trying to do the painting and the audio for the video in the same day and get it up in the same day because I have not um, mastered that yet. Well, yeah, no, I haven't mastered it yet because it's already midnight and um, that means it is officially Tuesday before I'm even done editing this video and I'm pretty sure at the beginning of this video it was not it, it, we were talking about this and yeah so now it's Tuesday <laughs> don't get me wrong I'm I don't know if I sound like I'm complaining <laughs> I feel like I always sound like I'm complaining but I'm not really complaining because I really like what I'm doing I'm really having a lot of fun doing mermaid I'm just a little tired and I think you know I don't even really have a problem with that because honestly sleep is overrated who really needs it do we really need it I don't think we do but if you listen to my commentary yeah maybe we do need it <laughs> but um, 
I, I'm not going to worry about that right now. I am just going to go ahead and do these videos and at least I'm, you know, getting them out there on the next day. So in the morning, at least, of the next day. But at least I'm getting my pieces finished in the day. That was one thing I was really, really um, worried about is this one especially. I almost wondered if I was going to get it done today in time. And, but I did. I got it done. And like I said, very happy with how it turned out, even though it didn't turn out the way I envisioned it. And really the only thing that was different about the way I envisioned it compared to how it turned out was I didn't want it to be quite so dark around the stars. Or around the starfish, I should say. I kind of wanted the, the dark part to be a little further back, but... When I started doing it, um, it just bled really close to the yellow. And it, it, like I said, it's not that it looks bad. It's just not what I, I wanted it to look like. There was still more sand around her. And I feel like it really looks like she's kind of in the um, sky instead of on the bottom of the ocean floor. So, yeah, not, not a big, um, terrible thing. It just it ended up looking different. So, yeah, I was really happy with the way this one turned out. And I also feel like I like her so much because, like, I don't know if it was just, my, like, I feel like I want to be doing what she's doing right now, too. <laughs> so I don't know if it was like a, a, a subliminal thing, you know, that I ended up drawing somebody sleeping because I have been kind of tired. But um, not so tired that I can't function or anything. I, mean, I can still function, but yeah, I, I would like to maybe take a nap. <laughs> but that hasn't happened yet. But thank you guys so much <laughs> for watching this video. And to all of my subscribers, thank you so much. You guys are awesome, and I really appreciate all your support. And I am going to go and get this edited or saved so I can get it edited and get it on YouTube and then I am going to bed. So you all have a great night or day or morning wherever you are, whatever it is, and I will talk to everybody in the next video. All right, love you guys. Bye.